And one week from tonight, the Indianapolis City County Council is expected to vote on funding to address gun violence. Part of the funding will go toward programs that advocates say will make a difference. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker spoke with a volunteer who is encouraging leaders to address the root causes of violence. On a weekend when we were supposed to be celebrating our freedom, here we are, you know, not being free if you can't celebrate the 4th of July because of a fear of gun violence. Jennifer Hahn, a Moms Demand Action volunteer, says there are things that could be done to help Indianapolis combat and end gun violence. She's looking first at the State House. We need the legislators at the State House in 2022 to come together and pass some things that are gun sense, such as background checks on every gun sale in Indiana, uh, safe storage laws, a stronger red flag law. <laughs> But Jennifer knows many of the state politicians are adamantly opposed to those suggestions. Her response to that is to fund gun violence intervention programs. It has to come from people who are living within the community who can go in and intervene. There are all sorts of groups that are doing this work already, uh, but they need to be funded. Last month, Mayor Joe Hoggs had announced a $3.3 million investment to address gun violence focusing on programs that involve mental health, domestic violence reduction, young people, and law enforcement. As another family mourns the loss of a loved one, Jennifer says the payoff from these investments can't come soon enough because almost every day someone is impacted by gun violence. And to continue to see the headlines, it is a cycle of trauma that we have to interrupt for all of us and for all of our mental health. Because um, it's not getting any better. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV.